Hello everybody, thanks for coming back for another video here on the channel. Now today I wanted to introduce you to a new company that's new to me, you may have heard of them, called Wild Badger Power. Now they had reached out to me about trying out some of their products. Having never heard about the brand before, I was interested in seeing what they had to offer. So today we're going to go over the 40 volt chainsaw that they offer and the 20 volt pole saw. Now I got a lot of trees, so I figured this would be a great area to test these products out on. So stay tuned, we'll go over the products, we'll go over seeing them in use, and we'll talk a little bit about the company. Now in speaking with the representative at Wild Badger Power, they expressed to me that the company was born out of a desire to provide a professional grade product line at affordable prices for both homeowners and small business owners. They noted that their team has done extensive research to determine the main issues with other power tools on the market today and achieved their goal of finding a way to offer quality high performance power tools to customers at affordable prices. So now that we have a little bit of background on the company, let's take a few minutes to talk about the products that they sent me, starting with the 20 volt pole saw and the features that it has to offer. So this is the cordless 20 volt pole saw from Wild Badger Power. Now some of the features of this include the tilting head, which can go from zero to 30 degrees to get the uh, different angles when you're up trying to cut things in a high spot. Now also, this comes in at seven foot for a seven foot reach, uh, which you could get higher depending on your height. Um, and it telescopes by releasing this knob here to bring it out to up to 12 foot reach to get in those very high places. Another feature that I really like of this is the shoulder harness. So if you're really trying to reach up in a high place, you can clip this on and give yourself a little bit of extra support to cut with. Now, another great feature of this saw is the light, like I said, I talked about how lightweight it was, but it's basically made out of a fiber shaft, which also helps it to be non-conductive and stand up over time um, to use and using it extensively, uh, cutting certain things. So it's gonna be very durable, yet very lightweight. Now this unit also has an auto oiling feature like most chainsaws do. Um, you put your bar and chain oil in. I went out and bought some bar and chain oil for this. Also used it in the chainsaw um, to keep everything lubed up while you're cutting. Now this unit also comes with an Oregon branded blade uh, and also comes with a chain as well. So everything you need is in the box outside of the bar and chain oil, making it pretty convenient. Um, and bar and chain oil is easy to find at most stores. So you can pick that up. Make sure you use an oil in this to keep everything lubed up in the machine working properly. Another feature I really like about this, if you can see, is the safety feature. It's got the double safety uh, feature, so you, you have to push the lever and then squeeze the trigger to engage so you don't slip up and uh, get things cutting when you're not intending to be cutting. Now I will say after getting this out, installing it all together, basically it was as easy as putting the pole in and good to go. I did have to install the bar and the chain very simple, very easy directions. If you've ever used a chainsaw before, standard chainsaw pull saw um, instructions. Um, this thing overall, my first impressions before using it is that it's very lightweight, like I said, and seems very durable. Now let's talk a little bit about this 40 volt cordless chainsaw um, and go over a few of its features. Now out of the box, this thing came pretty much assembled. Um, did come with the blade cover so you're not accidentally cutting yourself on the blade. I did have to install the chain. And this unit also comes from Wild Badger Power with a 40 volt battery. That is a four amp hour battery. Um, so you'll get a decent amount of use out of this uh, power wise for cutting and, and doing things around the yard. Now it also did come with the 40 volt charger. The battery just slides right in, uh, make sure it's connected. And after that, you do wanna add the bar and chain oil in there. Like I talked about with the pole saw, don't ever run a chainsaw without oil in it where you could really uh, mess things up. Now this unit does have Wild Badger Power's smart cut technology. 
meaning that the saw is going to intelligently adjust the chain speed and the torque based on your cutting conditions to give you the most efficient use of the battery possible. Now the direct drive system in this unit also provides a high chain speed of over 54 feet per second at 5,500 RPMs. Now this unit does come with the Oregon branded guide bar. Some of them will come with the Oregon guide bar, some will come with Wild Badger Power. Um, it also comes with the chain, so everything is um, included with the unit except the bar and chain oil like I noted earlier. Great safety features as with most chainsaws. Um, it's got the kickback feature here, so you're not getting your hand um, in the way if something kicks back. That's a nice safety feature. And it's got the double trigger system as well, just like the pull saw, so you're not going to engage the saw when you don't want to engage without pulling both of those triggers together. Now, probably one of the best safety features that I like of this saw is the chain break. So when you're cutting like this, as soon as you let off the trigger, the saw is instantly gonna stop. Now this could be key if you're cutting and you lose your balance or lose the blade. As soon as your hand comes off the trigger, the blade is gonna stop or the chain is gonna stop, which could have a great impact in reducing possible injury in those scenarios. Now we're gonna give this thing a little demo on a little bit of the, on a few of these tiny branches. Now I'm at seven feet here. So we're just gonna get, as you can see, it zips right through these with ease. So here I'm gonna keep this at a seven foot range and we're gonna do a little cutting up top here. If you could see, get some of these branches. Now the one thing that I do love about this is you can stay off of a ladder. So you never want to be with a chainsaw on a ladder. This makes it very simple to cut those off. Also, if you can see this, the tilt feature also makes it very simple to get up here and trim off what you want to trim. And you basically just want to let the, the uh, blade do the work, but um, that's a nice feature. Also, the other nice feature, if you can see this, I'll put it down here is this handle tilts 90 degrees each way. So that'll also help get to the angle. I'm gonna to try to trim out the top at the different angle and we'll see if we can top this tree with this pole saw at 12 feet extended range. So basically I'm gonna extend out to 12 feet. I'm gonna cut my angle down. And then also, if you can see it here on the end, I'm gonna cut my handle to 90 and we're going to try to give this a cut and top this tree off of this thing. And then you can also use this to get your tree down so you don't get stuck. Just be careful when you're doing things like this and make sure we'll get that the rest of the way down. So nobody gets hit with it. Now we're gonna go at it with the 40 volt chainsaw. So we'll quick, easy, smooth cuts. Now, once we get it on the ground, we're gonna do some more, but I'll finish knocking this down and just show you some of the features and how easy it is to cut with. Now the thing I love about this though, is I don't have to screw around with gas. It's literally 40 volt battery. Um, we'll get a lot of use out of this and we'll get a lot of firewood out of this dead tree. But this thing has worked great on cutting up logs. If you can see the cut quality on this. I mean, I've used a lot of gas chainsaws. This thing cuts just as nice as a gas chainsaw with no gas and just that 40 volt battery. If you can see that cut quality on it. So slice through it like butter effortlessly. Very, very nice unit. Uh, lightweight for a chainsaw with the battery and very durable in my opinion. 
So I will say after using the pole saw and the chainsaw, I've been very pleased with both units um, with their durability, ease of use. I like that the pole saw is extendable range at certain heights with a pivoting head, pivoting handle. That was a very nice feature. Also like just the ease that it cuts through things. So I can avoid getting up on a ladder. I can avoid using hand saws. Um, I can use the nice chainsaw to get some firewood out of these trees and keep my trees trimmed. So that's been a very nice feature as well. And I'll say for the price compared to competing, competing units or competitor brands that this seems very fairly priced um, on the market as a whole for the kind of quality that you're getting. You're just not paying for the brand name, but you're getting that quality. Um, very nice product. I've used it pretty extensively now. Um, cutting down, I cut down the whole tree, cut, carved up a bunch of firewood. No issues with it whatsoever. Now I just need to go charge my battery. I will say the battery lasted me about an hour's worth of cutting. So lasted for what I needed. If you're a homeowner that has stuff to trim around your property or firewood to trim up, definitely I would recommend these units. If you're interested in learning more about them, check out the description for the links to the uh, Amazon store for Wild Badger Power. You can read more about the features, pick up the product if you want. They also sell their products in Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, Tractor Supply. So you may see them at your local stores as well. So in all, I was very pleased with these two saws from Wild Badger Power. I appreciate them sending them out and we'll do a future update review on these in the future to see if things are still going well. But at this point now, I would highly recommend these products for cutting trees around your property. Now, I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this review or found it helpful, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all things that are happening here on the Lawn Lover property. And I hope to see you next time out in the lawn.